The recession is just getting started and the increase in unemployment is coming. This is something that we need to be aware of. Plan carefully and take appropriate actions. Peter Schiff, an economist and financial expert, gave this warning about what is going to happen in the very near future. Schiff has authored books on investing and shares knowledge on the stock market, the economy, the Federal Reserve, and the effects of monetary policy on people worldwide. To know more about what we're facing, watch this video till the end. But before that, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. The rate of unemployment will increase. The unemployment rate will rise as long as the recession persists. However, the U.S. government is trying to convince the people that the strong labor market means we are not in a recession. But that is incorrect because of how risky the labor market is. Wages have never really increased this much in real terms. The labor market has been weak. Workers have the power to request pay raises when the labor market is strong. That is not happening. Workers are being forced to accept reduced wages. As a result of their primary job insufficient income, many individuals choose second and third jobs. Think about it, 9% inflation would result in 12% salary increases for employees. The rate of inflation would have exceeded. They are accepting raises that are considerably smaller than inflation, which is a sign of a sluggish labor market. The workforce is powerless because the labor market is so fragile, they are forced to accept lower pay. A recession describes an increase or decrease in the gross domestic product. Neither the rate of unemployment nor the rate of inflation is mentioned. It refers explicitly to the GDP and what is going on there. The economy is in recovery when the GDP is increasing. The recession is causing it to shrink. A recession is already present with just two straight quarters of negative growth. Peter Schiff also believes that things could get worse since we are just getting started. The wage price spiral is just another misconception that the government created in the 1970s. Attempt to attribute inflation to the private sector. The government increasing the money supply causes inflation, not employees asking for pay increases, businesses raising prices, or both. The amount of money in circulation is increasing. Moreover, prices increase when the money supply is inflated. However, if inflation is 9%, if 5% increase in nominal wages alone does not mean that workers are ahead. And the wage figure is probably accurate, but the cost figure is not. Instead of 9%, the actual increase in consumer prices is probably 18%. That indicates the collapse of real wages. The savings rate is currently at its lowest level as of mid-2009, according to the most recent economic data we received. It diminished to 5.1. What were the economic conditions in the middle of 2009? The economy was severely depressed. As a result, the last time we saw such a low savings rate, a terrible recession took place. Why is the savings rate so low? Mainly because people are being forced by the recession to use their savings to pay their expenditures. Since their pay increases are insufficient, many people are unemployed but are not counted as unemployed. And our labor force participation rate is still meager. The state of the economy is dire and only getting worse. In my opinion, many of these businesses that were keeping their employees will likely start letting them go. And as a result, there will be a significant increase in layoffs. That is already apparent. First-time unemployment claims have reached over 250,000. They reached their peak of over 260,000 the week before. Since the autumn of last year, this has been the highest level. That, as opposed to the unemployment rate, is a leading indicator, which is an indicator that comes later, as well as the notion that President Joe Biden produced any jobs. The impression that Biden created all of those jobs, as a result, inflation will increase. It won't collapse, and the reason for this is that raising government spending does not combat inflation. By putting a higher burden on businesses, 
you cannot combat inflation. You get less investment when you raise taxes on corporations and businesses and cut back on supply. Consequently, less is produced, which increases price pressure. When the government spends more money, there is more demand, which increases price pressure. Peter Schiff said significant cuts in government spending would be the only legislation the government could enact to lower inflation which would lessen or end the budget deficits. So the Fed wouldn't have to monetize them anymore. Additionally, all of the laws and regulations that are currently driving up the cost of doing business could be repealed by the government in large amounts. Therefore, companies could pass the savings to their customers if they lower those expenses. According to Schiff, only tax increases target the middle class and the poor have a chance of success. Spending must be decreased because demand must be decreased. Of course, the middle class has less money to spend if taxes are raised on them. But they won't act in that manner. Of course, I prefer to see government spending reduced over that. But if it won't reduce spending, the only option is to increase taxes if they take neither action inflation will continue and worsen. A recession, according to the Treasury Secretary, is only a temporary condition. It's similar to a new phase in our recovery. Concerning inflation, they all said the same thing and always used the word transient. The recession is transitory, just as inflation was. They often say that, but the economy is currently in a recession. We have been in a recession all year, but it will only worsen. Since it has officially started, and you know that the Fed is still raising interest rates, inflation is still driving up prices. Therefore, the economy is not justified in reinforcing all the pushing forces. The effects of the economy's decline are exhilarating and will get worse. The last time consumers were this pessimistic about the weakening economy was when we were in a recession. Aside from all of that, President Joe Biden's approval just dropped to 38. And this says a lot about the economy. Why does his rating end like that? Perhaps it's a result of the recession in the economy. Actual people are battling. Real wages are collapsing. Savings are depleting. And people see increases in everything from gas prices to grocery prices to rent, mortgage payments, and insurance premiums. People are struggling again, forcing them to take second and third jobs. Many people used to be retired but are no longer because they cannot afford it. They are consequently forced to take these low-paying jobs. This country's economy is dire. Unfortunately, things will only get worse. There is no vertical growth. Despite their recent decline, oil prices will shortly reach new highs. We are dumping millions of barrels of oil onto the market and fuel from the strategic reserve is being used. That reserve will run out eventually, then there won't be anything left on the market. Afterward, we're in a serious trouble. Because if that happens, prices will soar, which is already beginning to happen. So what do you think? Will the recession really be that bad? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever we have new videos about finance, investment, and innovation. This is your 3 Towers Investing Channel. Thank you for watching and see you at the next one.